this week's tarot and channel reading. I hope you're doing well. It's a beautiful day out. Um, just like perfect, like the, the coolness and the, the sun and just like the perfect elements all together here. And so I'm just jumping on to do a week uh, reading and turning into the message and for the cards. And I'll do a little bit of the, the reading on the information that I got. And it's, it's kind of like a new way of looking at it, um, coming from a different perspective on manifesting. And so uh, what I got was uh, what you have been working on manifesting is in progress in the right timing. And you put a lot of things into the bucket that you're wanting to experience for April, May, and June, which I pulled three cards, right? You may be experiencing with that some resistance to what is being created as it may not seem to be in effect, but it, in the beyond, it is in progress. And so, of course, you know, stay with it, right? And so don't doubt it just because you don't see it. And so it is a letting go of the I don't have it yet, which is limiting. And it is not working for me or the idea that I'm not manifesting it, which is all basically the energy of I'm not worthy. Um, and then that is what is halting the energy, what it is that you're working on manifesting. It's evolving. Everything has a timeline. Everything has an incubation period. I mean, you can't. Have a baby without waiting nine months it's the evolution to it so that is with everything else that's your car that's your house that's your relationship and it's not based on that it's something wrong with you or you're not doing it right and so that kind of talks about that a little bit later and so in holding that energy and vibration up we suffer the outcome and what we never get it until we are unexpecting it and it shows up when we least expect it, right? It's when we're not looking and when we're just at, kind of give up on it. And that's where we see sometimes a lot of our manifestings is when we kind of give up on it or we forget about it or we just let it go. You know, it, it evolves so much faster. It's the speeding up of the time of the progress of it, right? Instead of halting it, we're slowing it down simply by holding the belief that, you know, oh, there's something wrong with me or there's something wrong with it or, you know, I'm not allowed to have it or I'm not worthy. And so, <clears throat> so begin by letting go and allowing it to unfold that is it is intended. And everything is divinely connected to where you are with it and needing it, not always wanting it. So we don't always get what we want, but we get what we need and what is either what we're wanting or better right and so that's the set that's been set for us by source we get what we want or need or better right so just remember that because <clears throat> that's just like a set set stone for us right so it, you know that'll explain it here a little bit more too and i don't know that a lot of people really know about this or talk about it but we get what we are wanting or need or better. We never get less than, right? Because there is no going back and there's no extinction. So you can't go backwards. There's no going back. It's like awakening. You can never be un unawake once you're awakened. You can never not see something once you've seen it. You can never go back in time and change something. You can only override it, right? And so there is no <laughs> um, getting less than what you're, where you are. Right. That's why there's no punishment, no, no um, karma. Right. We can never come back and have that done to us or to do it again. It's always something new from that point on because it's evolution. Right. And so it is divinely showing up for you in the way that it needs to when you want, when you are ready, which may intend many tend to think it is because you yourself is not ready, which a lot of people put that out there. You're not ready. Right. Or there's something, they put it out there as like, there's something wrong with you or you need to do more work, things like that on yourself. But everything is perfect. And so you really don't, right? And so it's the manifesting process that we just don't understand 
on how it is and that it's evolving. It's not that there's something wrong with us. It's just not understanding it fully, right? And so a lot of us don't have these concepts, and this is some of it. Some of us may not be aware of this, right? And so for yourself, it is not ready. It is more than that. This is a timeline when you are ready. Doesn't mean something's wrong with you. It means when it is the right timing, because everything has its right timing. Again, you can't have a baby without the process. And the process starts way before the birth. First, you have to meet the person. First, you have, before that, you have to even want to. Before that, you have to be an adult. Before that, you have to be born. So it's a process, right? And so understanding there's a process before the appearance of it in our lives, right? And so everything has its place where it's showing up, divine timing, right? And so there's nothing really wrong with anybody or anything. Everything's perfect. And then when all the pieces of the puzzle come together, for you can't put the horse before the cart, only after. And so you are aligning with the divine timing of all things that's been created by source, not who we are or what we think or what we want when we want it, right? It doesn't happen that way not here. Of course, we're in the physical form. So, and in doing that and having practice and patience, it arrives on time as it always does. Only it just may not be what you think it is or when it is, right? And so in not demanding it, so, and so that's not in demanding it, right? And so it can't show up that way because it doesn't work that way. How, how is that working out for you is the question. Right? And so it has a time of its own in incubation and the other cooperative components to unfold. So if you are actually working with somebody else, you know, you can't make them do something. Right. So everything has to be in the right place, the right timing. Right. For example, you know, the, ba the baby scenario. Right. So as it is meant to and so to hold your own in alignment with what is and what will be not that which is needed to be that is changing my way for it is the way that you are that it will find you when you are ready right and so you don't have to worry about it once you put it in there put it out there it'll find you right because it'll call you it'll be like hey go over here go over there go it'll lead you when it's ready in the manifestation right so it once you put it out there you're connected to it basically and the universe knows who it belongs to. So there's no giving your stuff to anybody else. There's no, um, a lot of people will be like, oh, well, you know, I wanted this and they got it. That's mine. No, it's not. <laughs> That's theirs because they manifested it too. But, you know, what's yours is meant to be yours. And when you put it out there, it, it remembers who you are by your energy and vibration, right? And so it's okay. They put a little tag on it. Like if you were to, you remember when they used to do layaway? <laughs> um, this is the scenario I'm getting when they used to do layaway, right? You get your clothes. I know I used to do it when I was younger because being in the uh, not understanding manifesting and being brought up in, a, in a, a family that was, you know, poverty and that kind of belief system. Um, I used to do layaway, right? Because that's what I could afford a single parent, you know, working my way to a job sometimes. Um, that... I would do layaway for my, my, my clothes, my kids' clothes. And so it's like putting your clothes on layaway. This is what I want. This is what I want. Put it on layaway, right? It's actually a perfect example. And then you go and you pay on it, right? And so when you're paying on it, you're putting your energy into it, right? And so they're holding it. And so when it's ready, they pull it out and they give it to you. Same thing. The universe is going to pull it out and give it to you when you're ready, when it's time, when it's complete, when it's done, right? That's manifesting. In that scenario and so be ready is not about being different it is aligning to what is worthy for you are worthy to receive even when you think you aren't it is the art of allowing it to be to be the what you want it to be not others for it is your wish come true not theirs and it is in the way that you want it or better right so it's in the way you want it or better there's nothing less than but let's say this for there is nothing less than expected to what you are choosing for yourself which is the energy that has been expressed for if you choose a million dollars and you feel like you're only worthy of 10 
guess what? You only get 10, not a million. That will tell you where you are in your worthiness. It's about worthiness, what I'm receiving. And I want this, but am I worthy of it? That's the only work you need to do. Focus on your intention on how worthy you are of it, right? It's your intention. It's your purpose. Because what we think and what we really feel are two different things, right? And so we may only feel that we're worthy of $10, but we want a million, and that's what keeps us from it, from a manifesting. Right, and so to look at it from that way. And so it is not less than, so you're not really getting less than because it's only, it's what you're worthy of. So it's where you are, showing you your worthiness, what your belief is. I'm only worthy of $10, not the million dollars. So you're not getting less than the $10. It's showing you what your worth is and you're not gonna get wor wor worse or less than what your worth is. But you're not gonna get more because you're not there yet. So that's the only work that you need to do is your worthiness, right? To receive what you're wanting, not what you are believing, right? The unconsciousness, right? And so it is not less than what you really feel worthy of. And so it will be less than what you're wanting, but not less than what you're feeling you deserve. And so where is your worthy barometer, which is truth? And so and when we're believing something and we're not seeing that we're manifesting the million dollars, we think there's something wrong with us or something that's keeping us from creating it, right? Or we might think there's something against us or God, you know, a source doesn't love us or whatever the, the situation may be. All these things go through our minds, right? And so um, a lot of times we just think it doesn't work and we give up on it and we don't continue, right? And so we just accept what is. And what is, is what was, right? And so which is where you are, right? And so in manifesting that, that allows you to bring up your energy and vibration to meet the match of your worthiness, right? Not what it is. And that'll talk about that coming up here, because where we are is experience of what we know, where we've been. That's what we have now in the present moment. And so what are we going to choose? We're we going to choose that or we're we going to choose something different, right? Because it's basically just a bar, right? We have our ceilings and our windows and it's like what they talk about, you know, manifesting. You have a certain bar that you hit and manifesting, right? How much you can make. It can only make so much. And so this is because that's what you've been taught or that's what um, you've learned throughout life because of what we've experienced through our experience, like our parents and our friends and our family, you know, and this is what we project in our reality without really realizing it's a conditioned factor, right? And so stepping out of that, and so that kind of explains a little bit more here. <clears throat> and so it is not less than what you feel worthy of, so it will be less than what you're wanting, but not less than what you feel you deserve. And so where is your worthy barometer? Is it being expressed in limitation or in abundance? It is always less than what you want based on where you are, which is a limiting factor of worthiness, not itself an action of abundance. So take a look at that. And so that is which we get to, we'll get to more on later in other channelings, but it is where it is that you are on the way to other things, which is manifesting other things for this applies to all things, which is meaning uh, career, money, relationships, family, friends, um, vacations, whatever it is uh, you can think of that we're wanting, a car. And so if you're manifesting a relationship, for, for example, uh, where are you manifesting from what you know to be relationships like from your parents or your friends growing up right so that is like your level one this is kind of like your step because you're coming into it you're learning what their experience is through your parents you're learning how to be you know how to by observing them so this is your step into life right and so you become ingrained or um that's what you're what you what you see right so that's what we're creating from like uh and then so that's what we believe right because this is so first instance you know your family was abusive or your family was um 
rich, you know, this is going to be your set stone, right? And so you're either going to be from here or you're going to be from something else, right? And that's by choice, right? And so where are you manifesting from what you know to be of relationships of your parents or the one that you want, which is different. And either is not good or bad because there is no good or bad. It's just based on where you are receiving it from. The acceptance of what is learn, learned and taught, or are you manifesting from a place of your dreams of what you're wanting, right? And so basically, this kind of talks about it too, like when we come into a lifetime, we're actually picking up from a past lifetime. It's like a ladder from lifetime to lifetime. And so where, what we came into in this lifetime um, was set up prior to coming in because it's a leave off from the last time. So we can have continuation from lifetime to lifetime, learning from this lifetime to this lifetime to that time. So you're set in stone of your parents coming into that, choosing certain qualities and factors of that lifetime um, has set your stone, your, your starting place, in this lifetime and so you're learning and manipulating and accepting or choosing or what do i want from this or what do i do i want to be like them do i not want to be like them do i want to have the same type of relationships do i not or it, it's really it, you're being ingrained and taught and programmed at childhood and so that brings you on your journey right and so you get to choose what you want and so what you do in your life is going into the end is going to be your set stone and so from there you're going to create a new ladder which is going to be based off the next life and be engraved there so it's like lifetime 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 and you're creating it's like a ladder from one to the other right and so we're manipulating and manifesting throughout these lifetimes what we're wanting and creating an experience from right and so it's the process of evolution that is going from here to there as we're moving through an evolution right and so the set stone that we came into this lifetime whatever you set whoever you chose to be your parents whoever you chose to be your friends and it, whoever you agreed to have the experiences with or whatever that is is your set stone right it's just your, your set point basically and from there you get to manifest from and so looking at it from that way are you wanting the same things or are you wanting something different right and so what we, uh, what we experience and what we see for us is two different things that we manifest from. Neither is correct or wrong, or that doesn't really exist, is what it is that you are wanting, something that you can relate to or something that you don't. And so the only thing uh, we can relate to is what we know, right? And so we're either choosing that or choosing something different, something more or better, because we can never have anything less. Because that's your, that's your new set points the minute you come into this lifetime is what you've chosen and so since that's your set point that's where we're going off of and manifesting right are we going to choose the same type of relationships as our parents the same careers we're going to choose something different or what is it that we're going to want to create right it's not that we need to repeat what they did um, but we choose from that and we can manipulate and change it right so what are we experiencing and what we see for us is two different things that we manifest from neither is correct or wrong for that doesn't exist it is what it is that you are wanting something that you can relate to or something that you don't something different than the parents had is it good enough for you to have or are you wanting something different so we fight and struggle with what we sometimes want because we don't know it or how it is that we are evolving through time to understand this process I know I didn't. When I grew up, my we didn't know anything about manifesting, right? We were in the poverty <laughs> um, thing, you know, and parents split up and, you know, all that. But we don't have to choose it, right? We have that as our set point, but we don't have to choose it, right? And a lot of us get stuck in that. And I did counseling for people and addictions and things like that. And that's what we get stuck up in these cycles and these patterns and beliefs you know this is what my set point is and so this is what it is we haven't stepped out of it we don't know about these manifesting processes and we don't understand how the world works and evolves or how we are a part of it and so unless it's taught to us then we don't know right and so that's a lot of the problem there um, is just recreating rechoosing what's been our set point 
And unless we're able to step out of that, we can't change it, right? And so um, if we don't know what we want, and so we get this, get something, we get that something that we have experienced, then we ask for it, is the question. And so we don't have to have the same relationships as our parents or the same experiences, such as our friends, family. We can manifest something um, different that is relevant to us of what we want, right? And so I know, like, when I was a kid, I would observe, like, my family, and I was like, I don't want that. You know, I, I don't want to be like that. I don't want to be that kind of a person, you know. And so from that point in my realization, that set me apart from that. And it, I didn't have those inclinations or those behaviors or those things. And whenever I realized that within myself coming up, because it is, because it's a pattern that's set for you, you can change, you can choose something else. And so when I realized those patterns in myself of them, I didn't choose to be the same. I chose to be something different, right? And so that's part of it. And so it doesn't matter if the parents like it or not. It's what you're choosing because it's not their life. It's yours, basically. And so it is only by their standards that they like something that you do or don't, which is not yours. And so you have to let go of that, right? Because otherwise you're just going to keep doing what they want you to do or what is good for them, not always good for you. And so when we start believing what they say, because like if you have, say you bring home a relationship person and they're like, no, it's not what they, they're not choosing based on for you, but for them, right? And so they're like, they don't approve of it. And so what happens is sabotages you because that person's not in alignment with what they believe a relationship is or what's good enough for them. If they're not aware of it, they're projecting that onto you. And so you accept that. Right? And so then what happens to the relationship with you is it fails because it's not approved by the parents, right? And so they affect you in different ways, right? And so you have a failed relationship and then you start that pattern, <laughs> right? Because now that is your set point for relationships, right? So it's the changing of the timelines. It's this acceptance and the patterns that we keep recreating and experiencing when we allow others to affect us and not make the change for ourselves when we see that come up within us. We have the patterns and set points. Doesn't mean we need to keep them. We can change them by acknowledging them, by becoming aware of them, and then making a choice. Choice is what changes. Choice is what keeps it. So you have two different directions at choice. You have I'm going to change or I'm going to continue what's happening, right? If I'm going to continue, my parents were abusive, so I'm going to continue that pattern. That's choice. Or, yes, the pattern is there. It's programmed. It's part of you. And because you've experienced it, but you have a choice in changing it. You don't have to keep changing it. And you don't have to keep changing your belief system. You don't have to keep believing in your belief systems of being in poverty. You can change it, right? It's a mindset. Right. And so it's you're, you're working with it, the clay, you're manifesting, you're working with it, you're, you know, creating. Right. And so it doesn't matter if the parents like it or not, it is by their standards that they like it, not yours. And so when we and as we come into a new world, we're all in a different place. Right. You are their kids, but you're a new energy and vibration and intelligence that comes in to have different experiences, not theirs, but Part of it is because you get that as your set point, but you get that as a jumping off place, not to continue it, right? And so it's jumping off place for you to come in at, to manifest from it and to change it. So what you're wanting, because you have a whole different life that you're coming into experience from your past life. And so have they. So it's a parallel timeline. It's not the same timeline. So you're just, you are just a way in through them that they created you. So you could be here doesn't mean that you're them part of their life of who they are what they're creating manifesting in their lives you have your own it's parallel lives right of theirs and yours right and so when we manifest things regardless of what it is it is a measure of what was and what is is a standard of what we set forth for ourselves that we live in life that we want to be like or what we want it to be like so what they want or what we want, which is two different things. And so when we're manifesting, 
are either believing in what was or what is now in the present moment of being poverty, abundance, relationship, and career. So the evidence of where you are is where you have been, and where you are now is two different things. What you're choosing, it is all relative to knowing who you are, where you are on the journey, right? And so just because a lot of times, and I mean, a lot of times people believe, well, we're of our parents and this is the way it is. And so we live this lifestyle, right? And so it's happened, it's been done, that's the way it is. And we don't, unless we step out of that frame, mind frame, then we don't know anything else exists, right? And so we just continue it because we don't know any better and that's ignorance, right? But it's not your fault because <laughs> that's where we came in at the set point to have the condition, the set point put in place for us so we can jump off at it, you know, into other areas of our lives. And so it is just for reference to be where you are, that you are being, that is setting the tone for where you are and where you are in evolution, right? Not so that you can be of it forever because you're never, it we evolve through time. Now that is either by choice or, or by force. And so force is actually the universe taking you through it until you change it yourself to wake up because that was part of mine. Like I kept getting into these cycles of these relationships and it was just a repeating of what I was branded into, you know? Um, and so I was like, why do I keep having these relationships until, you know, I had to change it. And so I kept suffering these relationships. I'm like, it's only because of what was right. And that was my set point. And so until I stepped out of that, you know, then they changed. Right. And so it's setting this, the tone is the basis of this being in lifetime that you took up to be of it, to be more than, uh, which is to reach higher. It is like the terrors of evolution, that which has been set for you is not required of you to be, but a starting place, which signifies both a place that you left off from in another lifetime and one for this lifetime, which is a, it, which is a climbing of the ladder, the stairway to heaven, right? And so... That which is or better, which is never less than or before, right? And so it is not equal than itself. It is a reference to itself, to where you are in evolution, which is and gives you a place to start manifesting from of what you're wanting and creating in your life, the same or better. And then to uh, just, if you're going to do the same, you just let life take you. <laughs> And you just go wherever you go and you don't set your intention, you don't manifest, you don't work on yourself, you just go with the flow and it'll take you. It'll take you like a river, right? And you'll just go bumping into everything, right? But if you want to do it better, then you intentionally set your day, your goals, what you're wanting, you're manifesting, you're working on yourself, you're stepping out of these conditioned um, cycles, these patterns, things like that. But most of all, um, what you don't see it is the way. And so, but it is the way it is intended. And so it's like a mirror reflection of what was and is, but doesn't have to be in choosing. So sometimes something else or different. So what you're wanting to be of when you are manifesting is up to you in choosing. Everything is about choice. You get to choose. You're one of the chosen ones. You are the chosen one. We all are because we get to choose our lives. Which works better or this does for me, not another. You're not born here to repeat or try to re replicate what was because it already is. You don't need to. It's a jumping off place. So what is? But to change it. But many fall into the assumption and the role that because it is what it was, it is that way. And that is nothing <clears throat> that it is this way or that there is nothing better but it, there is right and that's by changing it and so I am this and I am stuck with this which is the perception and then the reality that you get to live in when it is only a way of manifesting something from point A to point B to the stepping stone and so to repeat what you know poverty really abusive relationships, disease, dishonor, suffering, your life away, right? And I like where, how some of this, what, what's being said here is, I've heard Abraham say, so it's kind of making sense and connecting for me too, as well as I'm sharing this channeled writing. 
Um, so like they talked about the stepping stones, you know, where um, they were jumping over the river, the stepping stone. So it, it kind of brings it more, she said it in different way and put it out there in a different way, but this is making more sense to me. And so that's what happens. You know, the universe source brings you the information that you need that's going to work with you, right? And so although they have stuff to share, which is knowledge, you get uh, information and knowledge that helps connect the dots, right? And so for you to see it in a different way. And so hopefully this helps you, you know, as it's helping me um, in the information. And so it's not about repeating it, it's about changing it. And it is the basis of your life that you experience that you're manifesting, but doesn't have to be it, you can change it. And so what it is as the guideline when manifesting your life is in a simulation, the climb, so where are you and what are you wanting? Kind of like the game show. <laughs> um, what's behind the curtain, which is called Let's Make a Deal. I had to look that one up because I was like, I don't remember what game show that was. I had to look that up. Let's Make a Deal. It's not the Wheel of Fortune unless you understand this concept. So you want to understand these concepts um, in manifesting because these are important that a lot of us leave out. We may not be aware of it when we're manifesting. We think, Oh, I'm just going to put this out there and then, you know, it's going to appear. But it's it's not, it's simple, but it's not simple, right? There's a little bit of complexity in it um, on how it works, right, behind the screen here before it shows up, right? And so what you have learned thus far and where you are now is a ladder unto itself to be of it in a different way. to choose it or not in the same way or a different way based on how you feel about yourself. What are you worthy of? And so we leave you with this concept, not a construct, because that means it's true. A construct is something that you believe in and it's set, kind of set in stone. It's a concept, it's a reality to look at it from this point of view. And looking at it from this point of view, stand back and look at it what has been created up to this point and have at it make a mountain out of clay not a molehill it's kind of different right and so they always say don't make a mountain out of but it's out of a mole to make a mountain out of a molehill right and so make a mountain out of clay not a molehill so that means manifest big don't set set your, your bar high because where you are and what you came in at on that timeline experiencing your parents going through is just a set stone it's your set point for this lifetime which is a continuation of a blast path, lifetime, which you've made plans before coming in that you've forgotten. And so your set point is here. Doesn't mean we have to continue it. We don't have to continue passing down belief systems, religions, things like that. We can let them go and manifest what we want, right? There's no law against manifesting whatever you want except for our judgment our reality of what we think is right or wrong which doesn't exist there's neither no no right or wrong uh sourced and created and so it doesn't exist it's us who think it is right and wrong and so that's where a lot of us get stuck in like we we believe we have to be a part of a religion as so we pass it down to our children we believe we have to be in this society where we're paying taxes or having to work for a living and suffering and doing this and doing that and having these type of relationships that we have to get married, that we have to be male or female, that we have to do this and because that's our set point. That's where we were in the past evolution, moving on and forward. And every time we have a new lifetime, we come in and it makes change because what we've lived through that lifetime has changed and evolved. And so when we leave the lifetime, we look at that lifetime, which is a life review and we come back and we change it. What do we want to work on before? And so we set that up with the people who we come born to into the next lifetime. And so that is the change of evolution, the changing of being, the changing of who we are, the changing of experiences. So the creation, the recreation of ourselves in different ways, in different forms, and different beings, and who we are, and the experiences. And so there is no karma, there's no coming back to get even or, uh, you know, there's no heaven or hell. There's a lot. None of that exists. None of that exists beyond here. And not to go off on this tangent, but I think we all need to hear this because it's the things that have been set in the stone of the past, right? And so we think because it's been, we have to manifest it and move it into what was and continue it. When we don't, we change it. We manifest what's not working, right? This doesn't work. So we change it. 
you know, our um, public school systems don't work. Look what's happening. You know, our food system doesn't work. Look what's happening. We're polluting. You know, these are things and we don't need to keep continuing it just because it isn't. It's currently working or was working. It's no longer working because we can see it. We can see it's not working. And so that's where change comes in and takes place. And so not just working on manifesting maybe a family, a relationship, you know, participating in the religions, but change it, right? Make it better. Um, change it in different ways. You know, there's a lot of things that are out there that aren't working that we can change. We don't have to stay with that, what we've been conditioned to believe versus our set point from lifetime to lifetime. And so it's changing. Manifesting isn't just about, oh, I need a car. I need this and I need that. And I, how else can I manifest and change the world? Think bigger. Think the mountain, not just the molehill. All right. Hope that helps. That was a great channeling this morning um, that I got. And that was very uplifting for me to kind of look at it and perceive it from that perspective. That's just a set point, but we don't have to live by it and be it. So I hope that made sense. I'm just going to give you the three cards that um, I pulled here. And so I'm going to take a look at those. Um, this is the, and the channeling here kind of went into the beginning. Um, in the beginning, it said April, May, and June. We're in April right now. Um, and we're halfway through it. But so from the beginning of the year is a manifesting, right? And so we're always manifesting. And so these little things all represent all the things that we're wanting. When I look at this card, and this is a pentacles of abundance and money, we're at 10, you know. So everything in here that you're wanting is here, and kind of like channeling said. And so everything is there. And it's how are we looking at it? And how are we perceiving it? What are we accepting? What are we not? What are we allowing? So it's all there, right? So you're not disconnected. It's all there. All these little thoughts, all these little beliefs, all these little manifestings are all there. It's full of abundance. It's all ready for you. You don't need to do anything. It's already there. Kind of like Abraham Hicks says. Um, once you put it out there, it's there. And so it is, right? So May, you may come into some struggles, right? What's what the channeling said. And so, um, of course, you have this. This can be an ending of your your false beliefs about it, or it could be suffering, right? So you can be either way. Three of swords um, can be um, the end of something or that you're going to suffer something. Suffer something that you're wanting, su suffer something that you're, you love, so, you know, emotion, turmoil, right? So that can be it. So you might feel some of that in May, right? And so that's part of the manifesting process that it was talking about, right? And so stepping out of uh, the set point, your belief systems, and aligning with your worthiness. And so when we're manifesting um, and looking at, you know, this here card, um, what are we aligning with? Are we going to um, align with our worthiness, what we believe, which is our set point or better, right? Or what are we um, going to set as our worthy set point, right? And working on that. So it's either going to be, again, your suffering or the end of it, right? And so that's going to make, make the difference in what you're receiving, right? And so the card here for June is abundance. You're going to receive what you're putting out there, which can be your set point or it can be um, more than. So again, what is it that your worthy barometer is at? Where is that set is going to be your abundance? Are you going to get that $10 <laughs> or are you going to get that million? Right? And so that is your abundance. That is your, uh, reward. I don't want to say reward or uh, what you receive, but it, that's your abundance, right? That's what you're going to receive um, is what's set with your worthiness. All right. Happy journeys.